Right guys, so it's been a while since we released the Trade to Glory episode, and that's because we've had quite a few problems with all of the recording and everything. So we've got quite a lot to catch up on when we start this. So the first thing we're going to do is jump onto our transfer list. So as you can see, we've sold one of the Yobatics. Now, the reason he sold is because I constantly am listing up all of my one to watch cards for a lot more than they're worth, just in case they sell. Now, you can see both our Schneiderlins sell for 35,000 and 32,000 respectively. We also sold one of this guy for 25,000. It's surprising just how lazy some buyers are on the market. They just seem to massively overpay for players. As you can see, the rest of them didn't sell, which is what I expected, but one of the other ticks sold for 52,000. Now, this wasn't because people were being lazy, it's because his prices started to rise because he was actually in the predicted team of the week. So, the other two Yoba ticks that I bought, one's in my club, one's still on the transfer list, obviously, and we're going to wait for his price to increase a bit more. Now, I wanted to buy more of him, but I didn't want to put all of my eggs in one basket. Seeing as this is a Trade to Glory series, I didn't want to make the episode super boring for you where I'd kind of load up the video and say, right, all our coins are in this guy, that's the end of the video. So I limited how many I bought to three. We annoyingly sold one. Well, annoyingly, we made a good profit on it. We made a good profit on him, sorry. But he still sold, which is annoying. But we've still got two, and we should get a big profit off those. The second thing we did is we sold all our P-Shecks. Now, you remember we bought them for about 2,100, 2,200. So we've made about 1,000 coins profit on each one of these. So that's another 10,000 coins we've got in the bag. Then we also went on to invest in the marquee matchups for this weekend. So as you can see here, we've got loads of Ipswich, Norwich, PSG, Marseille, Atletico Madrid players. We've got all of those there. We've also got loads of these players on our transfer targets list, as you can see. And we've also got a load of them that I sent to my club. So we're pretty set, especially with the Norwich Ipswich players, for any potential marquee matchups to come out. Right guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a couple of squad builder challenges that have come out. So the first one we're going to do is going to be this foreign players one. As you can see, I've already completed the Premier League part of it. We used a really simple formula for this. We just filled the back line with Saudi players we had from bronze pack methods, used a couple of the Premier League players we had, and then bought the upper other couple for a couple of hundred coins. So this one's literally cost us nothing, and we're getting a one, two rare gold player pack for it. I'm going to do the same with the other two, complete them, and then we're going to move on to the playing abroad challenge as well. Right guys, so for the second one, we get a premium silver players pack. We picked up this guy for 450 coins, and then this guy for the same, so we spent 900 coins. Every single other card here was from the bronze pack method. So we've spent 900 coins and we're getting a premium silver players pack. Right, and for the final challenge, we had to pick up two players here. We picked up this guy for 700 and then this guy for 550. So they really weren't cheap in the Syria A League. But everyone else, as you can see in our club again, was first owner. So we spent about 1300 coins. We're getting a gold pack and 500 coins. And then on top of that, we're also getting the group rewards for completing this. So we spent maybe 2,000 coins total for four huge packs, 1,500 coins. It's just insane value. The bronze pack method's really coming through for us here. Right, guys, so the next thing we came to do was the playing abroad SBC. But some of the teams that I built earlier to do it, the prices had just got a little bit out of hand. So I'm going to reevaluate that one for the next episode and try and build that when I got a bit more time for a little bit cheaper. The one we did do instead, though, was we came on to do the Rio Ferdinand SBC. Now, this is an Xbox only one because it's based around Legends, but we managed to complete all three of these challenges for fairly cheap. So as you can see in the first one, we're getting a Jumbo Gold Premium Pack. I think the second one for the English Defence gives us a Premium Silver Players Pack and 1500 coins. And then the final one's the Manchester United one, and I'm pretty sure that gives us a 25k pack, so a Players Pack, and 1000 coins as well. And then for completing the group, we also get a Prime Gold Players Pack and Rio Ferdinand for 20 games. So now we're just going to jump in and open all of these packs. Right guys, so it's been a while since we've had some packs on this account, and I'm really feeling like we're due just a little bit of luck at least. So I feel like we're going to get at least one big player in these packs. We do get Suarez from Barcelona, who I'm going to keep because he might be featured in the marquee matchups. Uh, we get a random Irish player, uh, League 2 CDM. He'll sell because he's English though. I'm going to check that French guy, because he might sell. We'll keep the rest of them. I'll check all the prices for all these players after, but I'm just going to quickly open all the packs now. Um, is he going for about 2k, 1700? We'll list him up for 1600 coins. That is not a bad pool at all. That at least pays for the challenge and some, especially because these packs were so cheap, because we used all the bronze players from our club. 
Oh, we didn't get a rare player. It's only a 5k pack, so I guess we can't expect a rare player. But it'd be nice to get a little bit of luck on something. Uh, the two Liga, the three Liga Santander players might actually sell. We've got a leg healing, which will probably sell as well. A fitness card. I don't think the wall chemistry style will sell. But we'll keep it because we might use it at some point. It's not worth discarding for the minimal coins. We'll now jump onto the two gold rare player pack. That looked like a starter, but I know it wasn't. It's a shame. We do get another English CDM or a Manchester United one as well. Carrick definitely sells because of that Rio Ferdinand challenge we just did. So that isn't a bad pull at all. He's English and United. He's probably going to get a couple of thousand for us. We're going to keep the gold packs till the very end. We're going to do the two premium silver player packs now. These are probably my favourite at the moment though. Just because the League One players especially, along with a load of other players for the squad builder challenges, they just sell for so much. Uh, we've got one player, we've got loads of players from the leagues we need here. Pro League, uh, Manchester City goalkeeper, all of the English <laughs> all the English leagues were English League 2 and then even one Premier League in there. That's really frustrating actually. I'm just going to quickly check these guys just to see if any of these sell. Uh, wow, he looks like he might sell for about 1,200 coins actually. That's pretty good actually. Right, I'll list these guys up and then we'll jump into the next pack. Right, so onto our second premium silver players pack. That guy for about 1,100 coins was the only one that really sells within the pack. The others, they, they sold for about four, 500, but there was nothing big in there. So in this one, we've got one MLS player from LA Galaxy. Uh, the striker's not going to sell there. It's a League 2 player. We just want League 1 players. We even get another Premiership Silver. That's really frustrating, actually. Uh, right, I'm going to check what these guys sell for again, then we'll jump into the next pack. Right, so again with that Silver Players pack, we really didn't get any luck. Like one guy might have sold for about 800 coins, but apart from that, it was basically all trash. Then in this 7.5k pack here, again, we just don't get any rare gold players, but we do get a squad fitness and a thousand coins. And then a player from the Russian league who might even sell. Let's just quickly check him out. That's a really good 7.5k pack, actually. Um, it's looking like he might sell. We'll just put him up for minimum. That's still like a 50 coin profit against discard. That's not too bad a pack, actually. With the squad fitness, the coins and everything, we should clear maybe three, 4,000 coins from that. And with this one, we still don't get another gold rare player in the second 7.5k pack. Our luck on this account has been absolutely awful. We do get a Bundesliga Serie A and a Liga NOS player here. Keep the contracts. Another squad fitness, though. That's another 1,000 coins. So although the players have been awful for us, the consumables have actually been pretty good. On to the 15k pack now. We do get a tiny, tiny flare. It's going to be Sun. Now, Sun's, I think, the main player that's flooded the market for Tottenham. Any other Tottenham player probably would have been a lot better than him. But it's all right. We'll still use him. We've got a Liga Nos player, a random silver Polish player, a load of contracts which will sell, another squad fitness, a leg healing, a couple of position changes, and Guardian. That's not a bad 15k pack, actually. From all the consumables in there, we'll make a fair few thousand from selling them. But now we do come on to the bigger packs, the 25k packs. So in the first pack, we get absolutely nobody. I don't know if Coleman sells. He is Irish, so he might be worth keeping. We do have Remy as well. Uh, apart from that, what do we have down at the end here? English 2, so a championship and a French League 2 player, which isn't great. So we move on to the last two packs, premium gold players pack and then the prime gold players pack. So in the second premium gold players pack, they're all rare. But it's going to be Lovren. That's not a fantastic pull. He's 82 rated, but I don't think he really sells for anything. Ian Nacho, though, might sell for something. The new gold card. We'll store all these in the club, and then we'll just quickly check his price. I know it was a fair few thousand the other day. Is it still uh, like a thousand coins? <laughs> uh, I was hoping for a little bit more. I'm going to list him up for 1,300. Still not a bad player. So we've just got the one pack left. Okay, we're opening this pack here. I just got bored of waiting, so we just decided to go for it. We do get John Terry in it. He has been downgraded though, which is a massive nuisance because he was going for a fair few thousand before. So in the pack as well, we get loads of other players. He's not even a French League one. We're gonna store them in the club and we're gonna have a look at them later. Right guys, so while our teams are all over the place with investments and stuff, I'm just going to use this team made up of the players we've got on our club at the moment for our first game. So I'm not hoping for any kind of miracles in this. We're really struggling in this division as it is. 
But I wanted to just play one game because I barely got to play any FIFA recently because of all the trading stuff that I've been doing. But after this game, we're probably going to end the video there. We're going to keep these a bit shorter because people have been saying they're a bit too long. But going into the next episode, we've got so many investments currently going on. We've got all our marquee matchup stuff. We've got the Jovetic that we're hoping increases. There's just so much for us to look forward to. Coming up against this guy, though, he's got a really solid Premier League-looking team. Czech Bailey and Elderveld holding up the back. Then Shaw, Walker, Sterling, Martial, Matic. It just looks really solid, actually. And then Lukaku and Rashford with a pace up top. It's going to be a pretty tough game against Unreal Madrid, Unreal Madrid even. Niang sees Bellahino making the run. Bellahino somehow wins it, but then loses it, but then wins it again. Bellahino can't finish, but Fuguli surely can, and it's 1-0. Maybe we're finally going to win some games in this division now. Martial's got Coleman B for pace here, but Coleman's in hot pursuit. He's watching the run. He's watching the run. Oh, Martial's going to get past him here. Coleman backs off for some reason and lets Martial slip it into the corner. That defending was so, so poor. We had him covered for the whole run and then we just backed off and let him score. It's a good interception. It's played through to Lukaku. It somehow beats the man. Hits the post and goes in. We're 2-1 down. We don't des well, we do deserve to be because our defending has been awful. Absolutely awful. It's played into Rashford. The defense is poor. Rashford breaks with it. It's laid off. He sh goes for a shot, but he completely messes it up. He misses an open goal. If that allows us to get back into the game, then this is going to be fantastic for us. It plays into Faguli. Faguli holds it up. He sees the run by Bellahino. Bellahino's through. Bellahino to score. Bellahino equalizes in the last seconds of the game. He is going to regret that open goal now. So the game ends 2-2. It was a very close game. We should have won it annoyingly because <laughs> losing it did mean we're relegated back down a division yet again. That's the second time this has happened to us and it's really frustrating. But I guess we've just got to improve our team and improve how we play with it. So we're sitting on 28,000 coins as it stands. I've got all of that stuff from the packs to sell, which is loads. We've still got all our marquee matchup investments. The two Jovetic that we're waiting till the price increases a bit more. We're looking for maybe between 80 and 100,000 a piece for those. And all the other one to watch cards. So we're in a really good position. If you guys are still enjoying this series, if you could leave a like, comment, and even subscribe if you're new, that'd be absolutely awesome. 